Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to Survival Africa. All right, so I did get my stuff back, as you can tell, and I'm, I recorded a little bit of it, so I'm going to splice it in right here. Okay, and this is how I have been getting my stuff back, one piece at a time. I kind of run in here. Cold security. Look at that. Grab my bag. GTFO. I get one thing at a time. I get out of there. I come, I heal, I come back, and I get one piece at a time. And I'd be getting all of my stuff back this way. <laughs> so I think I think the body's just about empty. I'm gonna finish it up here. Okay, so I actually talked to the developer about that encounter with that enemy. He was telling me he purposely had him camping that he set up the uh, NPCs to camp your bag. So that guy was literally camping my bag. He said if you leave him alone for a little while, he will get bored and walk away. But yeah, he was camping my bag. Um, also, we do have a backpack issue here. I don't know the exact issue, but he told me something to the effect of if you loot your bag off your body and it's empty, I looted everything out of my bag and then I looted the backpack. Okay. He said if you do that, the backpack becomes useless. I'm not sure if that's intended or a bug. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I also made a backpack by mistake. So I've got my level one backpack there. Honestly, I'm not sure which one is the good one, which one is the bad one. Uh, I'll go, I'll look through them off camera. I'm not going to make you sit through that. All right. So he also told me that the shotgun and the pistol you can craft um, in your hands is pretty trash. Uh, these things really suck. He said you can still kill things with it, but you have to bunny hop and like have skill and everything. And skill is not something I possess uh, with FPS at least. So um, yeah, if you jump around and do some crazy backflips and 360 no scopes, you can kill with these, but they're not really that great. So he told me, he advised me uh, to make the workbench. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making the crafting bench. I mean, 300 wood and 50 iron bars. I have all the iron bars. So let's go ahead and chop this bad boy down. I'm really excited about this game. Like, when I looked at it, I was like, meh, you know, you know, we'll see. But um, the more and more I play it, the more and more I'm having fun with it, the developer really sounds like he's into it, you know, uh, which is really good. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, that is a very good sign. Um, so I'm very happy that he's into it. And uh, I'm really excited to see where this game goes. Keep our fingers crossed and hope everything goes well for him. And, um, you know, like I said, he's going to be working on a new map. It's going to, you know, look like proper, you know, Africa. And, uh, yeah, that should be pretty dope. I mean, got the animals already, right? All right, so let's see how much wood this is right now. Uh, 143. I think I got at least 250 in here, so... Let's take a look. Uh, I need to organize as well. There we go. 240. And there's the useless shotgun. I'm just going to leave the shotgun in here. I don't I don't want to use that thing anymore. <laughs> it just... It, it sucked. It's, it sucked. Also, I put this down backwards. So, what are you going to do? Oh, also, also, you can pick stuff up and move them. Alright? I was not aware of this. Okay? So, if you have the hammer out and you right click, you can pick up. Now, you can't pick up foundations or walls or anything. So what happens is if you pick up a wall, you just get 100% of the resources back. And this thing you can actually pick up and probably could pick up the crates as well. So that is freaking dope. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to do this and this and this and this. Um, I don't know. Anyway, 300 wood. There we go. 48 will be good enough for now. Okay. We'll cook that up. Now, let's see how much iron we do have. All right, so we have 37, so we don't quite have enough iron uh, for this thing yet. I should probably just bring the shotgun with me. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll bunny hop and get myself a kill or something. You never know. You never know. Uh, oh, the holster thing. I lost my holster, by the way. I didn't loot the holster. I don't really... It wasn't really working for me anyway, so I'm not really sure. I was probably doing something wrong. I'll fully admit that. So, All right, so once that's in there... We have that, and we load it up. It's not saying I have... There's no name for it, and it's not saying I have any ammo. So my shotgun might be bugged as well. And it's not going to stop reloading, is it? And I might actually be stuck. Maybe. No, I'm not stuck. All right. I'm going to not use the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun might be screwed up as well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this over here. One thing I don't mind about this game, like when, when things are... First of all, it's an early access game, so these things are going to happen. Uh, cannot move handheld item, of course. Uh, yeah, so when you play early access, bu bugs are going to happen. That's just the way it is. Not mad. And I'm really not mad about this game because this game has pretty uh, quick grinding. So, you know, I can get another shotgun pretty easily. But honestly, I don't really think it's that useful. So I'm not going to do that. 
All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. And number five. And we are going to... No, that's not how you make a workbench. Come on, Cage. Come on now. Crafting bench, there we go. 30 seconds. Let's get some more wood while you wait. Actually, let's check on the iron first. I don't want to waste wood in here. Yeah, that'll be definitely wasting quite a bit of wood. So we're going to take that out. There we go. It should be a lot better. Should be a lot better. I'm going to try and... If I can get like a... I don't know what I'm going to need for future weapons, but I would really like to go kill that dirt bag that killed me last episode. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm going to figure out a way to get the, the grade A cloth or whatever. And um, that's going to be a thing. Maybe I should try... Maybe I should try and kill an animal next. Maybe? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, also, stuff can break. I don't know if you can actually repair it. But stuff does break. So... Oh my god, what a pain in the ass. What an absolute pain in the butt. Alright, my mic was muted. My mic was muted from this point forward to the end of the video. My freaking mic was muted. So I'm sitting here trying to edit, and then I noticed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some post-commentary here, guys. I apologize. Ugh, this doesn't happen to me often. Probably done thousands of videos without this issue, but it does happen every once in a while. So here's what's going on. All right, right now I am looking in the new crafting station, and the new crafting station is dope as hell. I mean, look at all this stuff, like ammo, cardboard, armor. I'm not sure what the M4A4 stock does exactly. It doesn't really say. It just says it's a stock. I don't know if it affects the gun or if it's just for looks or whatever. But, yeah, I am going to make the M4A4. Um, I know what an M16 is. And I know what an M4A1 is. No, I don't know what an M4A4 is, so I guess it's just another gun. <laughs> also, AK-74. I know what an AK-47 is. What is an AK-74? Is it just as good as the AK-47? Because I've I've been told that the AK-47 is like the best like gun in the world. It's like you know versatile and durable and all that good stuff. I don't know. I don't want to get all the gun nuts like crazy though. So if, if you don't agree, that's fine. I'm just saying you know things I've heard. So right here, I've got the planter and the farmer I can make uh, farming house. Um, you know, honestly, you probably save up for the farming house. I'm going to make the planter anyway, because I want to see what the difference is. And you know, I'm doing a let's play here. So I will make the, uh, the, I'll make both. So, uh, and then you got the level two, three vests and this thing is just dope as hell. This thing is dope as hell. I, I, I gotta, I gotta reiterate how much I love the way the magazines work in this game. The fact that your bullets are separate from your magazine is just so cool. I love games that do that. And, and a lot of games don't do that. I would say... Most games don't do that, so that kind of sucks, but I'm guessing it's like a hard thing for them to uh, to implement. So I was probably out here getting more iron uh, because I needed, I think I need 120 iron for the M M4A4, and I'm also grabbing plant fiber because plant fiber is incredibly important. You want to grab that all the time. Grab that plant fiber all the time. Also, there's an upgraded pick I didn't notice. Um, I ended up making it by the end of the video. I don't talk about it, though. I just, I just end up making it. I'm going to try it out uh, next time I record. Uh, but yeah, you gotta you gotta grab all that stuff. Grab those berries too; they're really helpful. All right, so I am just cooking up some iron. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna divide all this iron using the shift key. I think it's the shift key, and then I'm gonna try and put it up with the iron ore. You cannot combine stacks of things unless they're already in the same inventory. So that's why I wouldn't let me do that. Like right here with the iron, I have to put it there and then combine the stack. That's the only way to do it. So, uh, one cool thing about this crafting table is it does have its own inventory, which is really nice, because right here I can't make the M4A4, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's up with this? You know? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's got its own storage. you got to put the stuff in there. And then you set it up to craft, and then you have to run the inventory. It actually takes fuel, and it, it almost runs like a, I don't know, a crafting station of its own. And it's pretty cool, because you can walk away, but it also kind of isn't really that cool, because... The thing is, if you walk away, um, the wood's all going to burn out. And, you know, it only takes like 60 seconds to make the one item. And you can try and guess how much wood it takes to make. Like, if I could find out how much wood gives you, like, okay, wood gives you one minute of burn time. Then I'll know. Or, like, wood gives you 15 seconds of burn time. Actually, I could just test that. Maybe I'll do that next time I play. I'll put one piece of wood in there and see how much burn time I get. Because if I can figure out how much burn time I get, then I can make decisions on how much wood to put in there. And then I, I, I don't have to put a, usually put a stack in, you know, and you don't worry about it. And then when it's done, you turn it off. But then I forget. And who wants a babysitter, right? So if I can figure out how much wood, uh, that would be wonderful. That would be great. That is a sexy gun. That is, you know what, the, the AK-47 might outperform it, but 
That is sexy. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the developer needs to let you, like, swivel the camera around and look at the person from the front. You know? Oh, I'll get back to that in a moment. So, you see right here, you see the problem with the aiming? There's a white dot at the top, and then there's the actual crosshairs. Or not the crosshairs, but the, the, the sight. So, which one is the real one? The sight or the dot? I don't know. We're going to have to find out together. Spoiler alert. I already know, but you guys don't. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I hope the developer, when you go into third person view, you let you swing it, swing the camera around to see you from the front. Because I, I just want to see how badass I look, you know? So I'm looking at this cardboard armor and I'm like, is this really good for anything? It's, as far as I can tell, it's the only armor you can make. Um, you can make vests, but that's actual armor. The vest only goes on your chest. Right here, I'm making the, um, uh, I'm making the two magazines for the M4. And I'm going to make, I'm trying to figure out, do M4 say 7.62? And I'm like, well, that's the only real ammo that I can make in here. So they don't take 9mm bullets and they don't take shotgun shells. So it's got to be 7.62. So I ended up making a bunch of 7.62 for it. I'm right, I'm looking, I'm looking on the gun right now to see if it tells you what it makes. It, I think it actually tells you on the ammo or something. So, um, yeah, it's so cool, man. Magazines, dude. I freaking love magazines. All right, um, I think I am going to make some cardboard armor, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember what I did. Going to reload this thing. There we go. Got the magazine in there. It's awesome. Again, magazines are dope. I'm going to try and put those down there. Um, I think I end up putting those in my pocket, my my uh, my right pocket. No, they got the backpack there. Yeah, the pockets are part of the... The top thing is my is my regular inventory. That's like, my, I think, my pants or something. Uh, my regular inventory. So uh, this cardboard is really cheap. It's just wood and cloth. So, I mean, if it gives me any kind of protection at all, I might as well use it. I don't have anything better. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll make some of this cardboard armor. Um, there's, a, there's a cardboard helmet, and for the cardboard helmet, you need a drop, like an actual item that drops in the game. I think it's like something cardboard, cardboard something or other, and uh, that's pretty interesting. I, always, I keep getting confused here early on that I'm trying to make stuff, and stuff has to be in the inventory. Of the workshop. That's the thing that, you know, keeps throwing me. But there you go. Ten seconds each. It's not even going to take a long time. It's not even going to take a long time to make. And then I need to make some more ammo. Yeah, the 7.62. Right now the 7.62 only takes... Um, it only takes iron. But I'm assuming... I think he, the developer said something about needing potassium nitrate or something. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably need potassium nitrate and coal uh, to make gunpowder. And right here I'm looking at the, uh, the the jeans and stuff. And I'm like, 20 cloth. That seems like a lot. Honestly, 20 cloth isn't a lot. I just thought it was a lot at this point. And I'm like, I'm not making pants. The thing is, I think the pants go in the same spot as your armor. So you're not going to use regular pants. I don't think he gives any armor at all as far as I can tell. Um, now I'm just kind of thinking about what else I want to make. I think I end up making the the the, uh, the planter here as well. There you go. Yep, I'm going to make the planter as well. All right. That is pretty good. Also, the cardboard uh, gives you more inventory slots. The pants, you know, what, what was the first game to do this? Like probably like DayZ or something? Um, yeah, or... Yeah, I think Daisy. Maybe Arma did it before Daisy. I never played Arma, um, but yeah, like as you get more items, they have pockets. And uh, right now, I'm going through my inventory. Those are the crappy guns in that right inventory, as long uh, along with uh, along with all my ammo. Okay, so now it's time to go out and get you know put the put this armor and put these weapons to use and see what good they are. What I want to do is I want to go over there and I want to kill that piece of crap that killed me last time. I want to get some good old-fashioned vengeance. Go ahead and drink out of that water bottle. That water bottle is supposed to stay there. Um, but the thing is, every time I drink it, if I drink all the water, the water bottle disappears. But the bottle is supposed to stay. So I'm not sure if it's a game glitch or if I'm doing something wrong. Um, I told the developer about it, and when he gets back to me, I'll know. If it's something I'm doing wrong, then I'll know, and I can let you guys know. And if, uh, Unless you guys know what I'm doing wrong already, which could very well be the case. So that right up there on the left is where I died, top left. And where I'm pointing at is where the guy was camping me from. So let's be very careful and just kind of tiptoe around, kind of side strafe. Keep a little bit of a lookout. Okay. I'm not seeing anybody. I see the house. I'd really like to loot that house. Oh, by the way, I love the idea that there's NPCs at the POIs. That's, um, okay, NPC, non-player character, human enemy AI at the POI. POI is point of interest. 
stuff like buildings and everything. So I'm not seeing anything up there. So I decide to put this on hold and go shoot an animal. All right, I think I just saw an animal off in the distance. Yeah, I want to go shoot an animal and try and get some better cloth. Because if I can get some uh, grade A cloth, I can make the upgraded uh, chest and stuff. Uh, armored. So let's just go ahead and shoot. I'm not sure if this is... See, the thing is, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using the white dot or the, or the you know, the actual gun sights. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of each. <laughs> I'm, using, I'm using the white dot to see if I see any blood splatter, and I'm using the sights to see if I see any blood splatter with that as well. So I, I got to get a little closer, though. So here we go. So it's blood. Doesn't look like there's any blood there. Yep. So it is, it is the white dot. I, I'm pretty sure it's the white dot, which is going to be tough because I'm going to want to use the other scope, but it's not going to be there. All right, so what do we get? We got some uh, cloth, regular cloth, unfortunate. Uh, but I guess it was the fact that it was kind of an easier animal. So, and we did get some meat, which is going to be cool. Uh, so that's going to help us. Um, I'm not sure if meat gives back hit points, but it's going to be great for, you know, obviously food. And uh, we do have to cook it. Don't eat it raw, obviously. And uh, we're going to continue looking for another animal. What did I just see? Oh boy, here you go. Blood, blood, blood. So I shoot this guy in the butt quite a, quite a bit. Got to empty out the, the magazine. Don't call the clip. And I'm going to shoot him some more. Now, these things took a lot of shots. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting him here. So, you know, uh, maybe I got to shoot him in the head. I don't know. But, oh, he just got pissed. He just got pissed. And now he's charging at me. And I'm out of ammo. So that's great. Actually, I'm not technically out of ammo. But what's going on is I don't have any more ammo in my magazines. So that's fun. So let's come through here. He's still following me, but he's quite a bit away. I'm going to put this in the magazine. And then I'm going to reload. And then I'm going to turn around and see if I can finish him. So it seems like... Yeah, it seems like it's better to hit him in the head. So maybe shoot him in the butt that whole time is kind of pointless. I don't know. And there we go. Check it out. We got grade A cloth. 50 grade A cloth. And a ton more meat. So that is great. And I think the I think that the plan here is to go home and use the grade A cloth to do some... Uh, see what we can do with it. Um, like I said, I know we can make... Uh, a chest, a piece of chest armor, but all right. So here, I go up to I go up to the water. Now I I go up to the water, right? And I put my water bottle at number four, right? And I drink all the water. Here, watch. Check this out. So I drink the water normally. I put that as number four. I drink, drink, and the water bottle disappears. So yeah, I don't. I think that water bottle is kind of messed up because I don't think it's supposed to do that. Uh, the developer, the developer keeps telling me that I can fill that. Maybe there's a different water bottle. I don't even think I saw another water bottle in the crafting bench. So maybe there's not, but it is what it is. It's not like it's hard to make those. It's not like I'm going to die of dehydration, especially considering this water hole is so close to my base. All right. Back at the base. We need more ammo. I really like, I'd really like to get revenge on that guy that killed me. So I'm going to need more ammo. Also, this is the grow table. And I did plant the seed. You don't need seeds. I just planted one, right? Uh, the problem is it needs water. And I don't have any water because you need water bottles. I don't think I actually end up making any water bottles right now because I kind of want to get outside during the daylight. Um, but I will make water bottles later. And then it's simple. You make the water bottle. Uh, you go in there. You press the add water button with the water bottle in your inventory. It's good to go. As a matter of fact, when I had the water bottle in my inventory and I pressed the add water button, it didn't take the water out of the water bottle. So, <laughs> you know, some bugs hurt us, some bugs help us. Now, this is the water container, and I could not figure out how to make this work. Um, I talked to the developer. He said, you got to put an empty water bottle in it and let it sit outside. Okay, so I placed this thing down, right? And I'm going into the inventory, and I have no idea uh, what to do here. But like I said, the, the developer said, you take the empty water bottles and put it in the water storage. But I can't get any empty water bottles because every time I use the water bottle, um, the water bottles come with four drinks of liquid. Give you about they give you about a third each, you know, of your water supply. And uh, once they're gone, they disappear for me. So I, I, you know, I'm not really sure what to do with that, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. All right. So now I'm looking down here. I think I'm looking for, uh, yeah, the level two vest. So I'm debating between the level two vest and the level two um, backpack. And I was like, well, I really don't have any problem with inventory right now. And I do have a problem with people shooting me to death. Also, I was looking at the difference between the level 
the level two vest than the level three vest. The level three vest only takes 20 more grade A cloth. Uh, the level two vest takes 50 cloth. The level three vest takes 70 cloth. I, I just end up making the level two vest. I mean, you know, theoretically, you can go out and hunt more animals for the other one, for the level three vest, but I decided um, against that. All right, and here we are. Uh, we are all geared up. I did make a shotgun. I made the M8 shotgun. There's a couple different shotguns in there. I don't really know the difference uh, between the shotguns. But I did make an M8 shotgun. It just takes the same shotgun shells I made for the other crappy shotgun, the one that you can make in your inventory. So I've now got a shotgun for close range, and I've got a M4 for long range. There's also like sniper rifles and stuff, and MP5s, and I think MP5s are kind of like mid-range as well, like kind of close mid-range weapons. Maybe something you would use inside. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me turn off my fan. Sorry about that if you heard it. Uh, but yeah, fan's off, so we're good. Um... So, where is this guy? I'm just kind of looking around. I was wondering if he was in the house. Is he in the house? I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to kind of look around. I, I'm basically scouting out the area. I do, not be, I do not need to be getting shot in the back. So, we're going to scout out the area. If I don't see anything at this point, I'm just going to go in and see what's going on. There's no vehicles in the game yet. And he won't have any vehicles with this map. Because he said this map is small enough where you don't need vehicles. But the next map, he will have vehicles. You're not going to have to uh, fix them up, but they will need gas. All right, so I sw I'm going to switch my shotgun here and just roll up on in here and see what's what. There's got to be someone in here, right? Kind of look around. Something on the table. I'll get that in a minute. Let's stay focused. Just trying to clear the area, you know? And there's nobody in here. There's nobody in here. That is so weird. Um, I, I, I'm paranoid at this point. I'm like... You know, it's almost like not finding someone is scarier than finding something scary. So, all right, uh, nine millimeter ammo. That's, I don't know if there, I don't know if there's a good pistol or not. Just kind of look around here, and this place is clear. Can't go in any of those drawers. Nothing in there, and that's it. This place is clear. I don't know where this guy went. <laughs> I guess after he after I got my stuff back, he's like, "Oh, you got your stuff back. I better get the hell out of here." All right. Well, I think I found something here. It looks like a um. Like a grocery store or something. And I believe I, I spotted someone out there. I, I, yeah, I definitely spotted someone out there. Now, a sniper rifle would have been preferable here. But I think this gun will be just fine. Alright, there he is. So let's blast this idiot. Don't forget, use the white crosshairs. I hit him. He's looking around. I hit him again. He doesn't know what's going on. He sees me. He starts charging me. And come on. there he goes. There he goes. So I have got my vengeance. The problem is I saw someone over there to the left as well. See, I, I didn't spot him. Did you see him? When I first played, I didn't see him. See, you, you, it's funny. Like You guys watch YouTubers and you're like, how do they miss stuff? Yeah, I just saw that in the editing and I did not see it when I was playing. He's right there to the bottom left. And he's going to be shooting me in a second. There he goes. So he starts shooting at me. So let's kind of back up. Uh, he, he surprised me. And usually the person who gets surprised is also the person who's going to get dead. So I need to get back, you know, my advantage. And then I uh, wonder what's going on here. And I'm like, oh, zebras. They sound like hyenas, but that's okay. And I'm, and I'm, I'm like, okay, there's a dip. There's a dip down there. He's right down there, like in a little bit of a, of a dip. It doesn't, you can't really tell until you, they go down there. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the angle on him. And there he is. And this is a bit where the AI has a little hiccup. He just stands there. <laughs> and lets me shoot him to death. And that is it for him. Reload. Hold on there. Stay there, buddy. Just don't move. There you go. Okay. So, you know, some good AI there. The other guy was running, couldn't really find me. And then as he tried to run up to me and get the cover, he couldn't make it. The second guy was a bit of a hiccup there. So early access, guys. You know? Early access. So what is this place? This is, um, yeah, this is a supermarket. Supermarket. That's what I was looking for. And let's see what these guys have on them. Holy shoot. Oh, that's, oh my god, that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Let's see what this guy has. Oh god. Was, oh. <laughs> MP5s for dirt. Oh man, what? Why would you need two MP5s? Like, what are you doing? Are you, you wielding MP5s? I mean, you know, what the hell? 
and another that's a holoscope or red dot scope i can't really see in my editing program but yeah it's some freaking dope loot some kind of mod i'm not really sure how mods affect weapons yet i know how a scope would affect the weapon because i can see through it but like stocks and everything i don't know how that affects weapons but you know what, guys? I am going to leave the supermarket for next time. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos, more loot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.